let's talk about the Buffalo Bills, my team, my favorite, the one over my right shoulder, actually, uh, those guys, uh, the ones that always choke in the playoffs. You remember those guys? Yeah, okay, those. Um, they're the favorite to win the division. They're plus 150 last time I checked before uh, lunch today. Uh, they've won, by the way, at least 11 games the last four years. Yeah. But I also think this is the most talent-deficient team that the Bills have had since Josh Allen has been their quarterback. Agreed. This is this is the year where everything is going to be on his shoulders. There is no other option, Tristan. I've heard people say that, oh, they lose to Von Diggs, they lose Gabe Davis. Well, they, they can play. He can go and do what Patrick Mahomes did with Kansas City. When Kansas City was in their quote-unquote rebuild, they wind up winning a Super Bowl. That doesn't happen usually, okay? That is the one in a million. That is the one out of 99. Josh Allen, we know how he plays when the game's on his shoulders. During the regular season, he's great. When it comes to playoff time, he chokes. He can't I disagree. Do it. He's great. He's always great. It's the team around him that always kind of falters and fails okay. him. Let me take a step back. The Bills overall choke in the playoffs. Whether it's Josh Allen, whether it's the team, whether it's Sean McDermott, I don't know. That's just what always happens. I find it weird that I'm arguing against the Bills here. It's the pain. It's the pain coming out. This is my way of crying, okay? Um, look, I know the Bills are the favorite to win the division, and I surely hope they do. I don't think they will. Mm. I think that, you know, last segment I told you I was going to save the part of uh, the Miami conversation here. What happened last year, the Dolphins and the Bills, they finished even. They were both 11 and 7, right? Or 11 and 11 and 6. six yeah. 11 and 6. And so uh, but, but my Buffalo math wasn't math. Yeah. But Buffalo won both games. They swept Miami. I don't think that happens this year. I'm not saying Miami sweeps Buffalo, but they do not win. Buffalo does not win two games against Miami this year. It doesn't happen. Uh, Mike McDaniel's not going to let that happen. And I don't think that Buffalo has the talent there to match up with Miami and win and sweep both of those games. I know when Buffalo plays Miami, it always seems like it's Aaron Rodgers at Green Bay playing Chicago. That's how it seems. I'm telling you, it changes this year. Mark my words. And I think that's the difference that pulls the Bills under. I have them winning 10 games this year. You think they're going to make the playoffs? As a wild card? I don't know, man. I really... I Okay, do you want my honest opinion? Yeah. Because you asked me. No, I don't think they make the playoffs. I don't even think they make a wild card. Here's the, one, the reason why. I think Buffalo is in a secret rebuild mode right now. Yeah, they are. And, and I think Sean McDermott needs to be gone. I, I don't think that Buffalo can rebuild on Sean McDermott's foundation. I think that the AFC in general is too stacked for them to hope for a wild card win. Even with 10 wins, I think it's going to be hard for them to get yeah, in because yeah. when, when we finish the gauntlet of the AFC... Uh, you know, in four weeks from now or three weeks from now, it's we're going to talk about some teams that lots of them have the possibility of winning the Super Bowl. And so I don't think at 10 wins, uh, Buffalo maybe has the chance of, of going, and they may even get less than 10 wins, Tristan. I, I'm, I'm really worried about the Buffalo Bills here because they haven't done much this offseason at all. Uh, they've lost big pieces in the offense. They've lost big pieces in the defense with Jordan Poyer and others. They, they had and, to. They and, had to address the cap. They were correct. They but they haven't the supplemented. Can. No. So when you don't supplement a muscle, it gets weak. And I'm telling you, it, it's going to be a rough year for the Bills. I'm, I'm, and this is me just being negative, so I don't have to uh, suffer the consequence of being on a high for the Bills like I usually am. And then uh, the, the letdown isn't so bad when you're already prepared for a bad outcome, right? I understand where you're coming from to an extent because I was there last year. You're about to tell me year. they're winning 11 games. I I'm was gonna... there last year. I doubted okay. Josh Allen. I doubted Buffalo. I said they weren't going to make the playoffs. It was looking really, really good for a while. And then somehow, some way, he does it. Joe Brady became the offensive coordinator. They started using the run game more, actually utilizing James Cook. I don't think Stephon Diggs, losing Stephon Diggs is a big deal. I think, if anything, he was a liability at the end. I mean, he hardly caught the ball. We look at their stats last year. Here we go. Points per game, sixth. Yards per game, fourth. Pass yards, eighth. Rush yards, seventh. Defense, fourth, ninth, seventh, fifteenth. I mean, they're top 10 in almost every single category. We know the defense will perform well, even with the depleted roster, because McDermott is a great defensive coordinator. I think the offense is going to run the hell out of the football. I think Joe Brady will have the, them way more balanced and focus on the run game and build the offense 
out of that. They brought in Keon Coleman at, uh, with through the draft. I thought they drafted pretty dang well. There is no way I'm picking against this team while Josh Allen's the quarterback because I made that mistake last year. I'm not saying they're going to win the Super Bowl. That's not going to happen. It is kind of a rebuild year because they had to address it. But even with that said, when you have this quarterback who is so used to putting the team on his shoulders and carrying them to the playoffs, and even in his worst year, taking Kansas City down to the wire, I don't expect anything different. I'm taking the over. I think they're going to win 11 games because they do it every single year. I am very happy for you. I cannot share that same high with you because I've been let down. So just like how you were let down because you picked against them, I've picked for them and been let down so many times. I mean, they lost the divisional game. Like, it's, that's a good run. I still think they'll win 10 games. But I think the difference is them losing one of those Miami games. That's, that's really all it is. I, and, and also, it's Kansas City's year to win. Um, I know that the Bills have, I think, beat Kansas City in the in the uh, regular season two years in a row. I believe if so. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, I think this is Kansas City's year to win, and you also can't tell me that Kansas City isn't even a better team than they were last year. Uh, on on paper, maybe. Yeah, they they should be. The Bills are a worse team, and so they are. by your prediction, you have the Bills winning the AFC East. Yes, I, I do. I think they win the division. It's very rare that I predict anything that comes true. Uh, but every now and then I have one. I usually get one good prediction right. Uh, what was it last year that I, I called? You were like, oh my gosh, you called that. Um, oh, you were uh, you were talking about uh, Hollywood Brown going to the Chiefs. Hollywood Brown. Yeah. And I, okay, so In there's like my October. one good prediction. Yeah. yeah, there's my one good prediction. Uh, my good prediction for this year, the Jets beat out the Bills in the AFC East. Okay. I would be... I would Again, be shocked. Predicated, predicated on a healthy Aaron Rodgers. I get that. So if that's wrong, my no, whole prediction no, 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 is no. at the But window. that's part of the pick because I it don't is. think he's going to be. You're, if you're saying that, that no, means I'm you saying, think he's going to be healthy. Right. It's okay. predicated on him being healthy, right? And so if, if he's not, then my whole prediction just fails. Like, well, I mean, it's but, just. But that's my prediction is predicated on him not playing 17 games. Sure. So. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm looking at the schedule and I, I look at the roster for the Bills. It's bad. Like, I. I know a lot of people are just, they're praising Josh Allen and praising him, and I know he's one of the best. He's one of the top three guys and top four guys in the league. But I just don't see him carrying this team. Schedule is really hard. It's very hard. I, I, it was ranked in, like, I think, the top 12 hardest schedules of the year. Cardinals, um, Dolphins, Jaguars, Ravens, Texans, Jets, Titans, Seahawks, Dolphins, Colts, Chiefs, 49ers, Rams, Lions, Patriots, Jets, Patriots. So that's a you end it. Patriots, Jets, Patriots. But that yeah. run right there. Li- listen to this run: Dolphins, Colts, Chiefs, 49ers, Rams, Lions. Woo, that's a tough stretch. You got to buy in there, but it's not going to be easy. I, I just find it funny that, and, and I guess the, the difference is the quarterbacks with Tua and Josh Allen. But you said that Miami is going to take a step back offensively. I, do you not think the Bills take any step back offensively at all? I think statistically, if you look at the numbers. Yes, but I think they're going to not, be... You're going to talk about the wins then. But I think they're going to be a more balanced team because last year, Joe Brady took over halfway through the season and that's when the offense really started looking good and running the football. I think they're going to be a more ground and pound play action football. And I think they're going to control that's, the clock and try to play low scoring games and be in close games in the fourth quarter and get Josh Allen to go win it. I think that's the formula and I think he'll do it. That's where he plays best. When yes. it's fourth quarter and he has to go win it, he will. Yes. Uh, fourth and 12, he'll run it and get 28 yards. Right. But you also said that they should ground and pound it. I agree with you. I agree with you so much. That's what they need to do. But they never stick to but, the status quo. But they, they did don't. when Brady took over. Like, Brady did run Sometimes. the football. I mean, even the Chiefs game. They were Sometimes. winning the Chiefs game running the football. Sometimes. But when I feel like... It's just, we talk about it all the time when we play Madden football, right? Like, when you get down three scores, you want to just start airing the ball out instead of sticking to the ground and pound because it's only the midway through third quarter. You still got time, right. but your mind just says, hey, we got to go put points on the board. Air it out, yeah. And we got to get those big chunk plays. And that's what the Bills do. They they put it on Josh Allen's shoulders too early, I think, is what they They jump the gun on it. They say, hey, go win this game. But, coach, it's only, you know, three minutes into the third quarter. Don't care. 50-yard pass to Gabe Davis. Let's go. 
And and that's just Gabe Davis isn't there anymore. So what do you do? I understand <laughs> like, this I, receiving core is and maybe uh, what's his name? Keon Coleman is that Keon right? Coleman? Is he's that, the rookie. Yeah. yeah, maybe he comes out and I've seen you know some of his plays in the off season and they look pretty good. Yes, but I mean he's not Tyreek Hill two point But you still got Curtis Samuel. You've got Khalil Shakir. You've got uh, Dalton Kincaid. I uh, I, yeah. I assume Dawson Knox is still there. I think. I think they're going to be okay. The only questions are still the offensive line. They're a question every year, though. I'm done even talking about that. The defense is not great. It's not. So I, I'm, I am worried about the defense. And if, if the defense is bad, genuinely bad, then yeah, they probably won't win uh, 11 games. But I, I just feel like Sean McDermott's going to find a way to average things out. The Bills opened up at 11 and a half. Mm-hmm. They get dropped. To ten and a half. That's because all the money was coming in on the under eleven and a half. I'm right there with them. Well, when it was eleven and a half, that's a different story. I might take the under. I'm still with them on the under. Like we're just gonna keep blowing the under here because I, I'm telling you, I just I just don't see it. Huh. I I hope again. Look, I got the banner flying high over my right shoulder. I hope that the Bills win the Super Bowl this year. Yeah, but I also have to come to grips with reality and say. It's not in their cards this year. I just don't think it is. I and, and maybe not. Even with that, I don't think eleven wins is either. That's why I have to take the under. Even if they get ten wins, I'm right, and I think they go ten and seven. That's my prediction. So uh, that's what I think about the Bills. That's what I think about the AFC East. Yeah, I'm with you, man. We'll see what happens. Uh, a lot of disagreements, but it'll be fun to follow it. Um, ultimately, we we will find a way for both of us to be wrong somehow. We always do. 